And thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. We are continuing on the book of Philippians, Philippians chapter 1. We'll pick up in verse 6. Yesterday we talked about how the uh, the amazing Apostle Paul writing um, about joy and thankfulness to the church of Philippi um, in, in, uh, in the midst of being in prison. Absolutely amazing. The challenge was is to encourage one another, think about other people, pray for them, uh, and look at your current circumstances. And they may be bleak, they may be uh, discomforting, but you can encourage and challenge another person who might be facing the very same thing that you're facing. And so let that be an encouragement that there is purpose in the pain and suffering that we're going to go through and that we are currently going through right now. Well, let's pick up in verse 6. Paul says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. I don't know about you, but that is one of the most encouraging verses in the Bible. Philippians 1, 6 right there. What That promise that, hey, what you're going through right now, whether it's pain, whether it's that valley, uh, that darkness, that uncertainty, God is working in you and he's going to see to it that he will complete that good work in you. And so allow that refining fire to continue to mold you, shape you, uh, get the imperfections, the you know, imp- you know, Im- impurities out of you. That's that whole refiner's fire. Sometimes when we go through those suffering and that pain, uh, it's difficult, but we are better because of it. Verse 7, It is right for me to feel this way about all of you since I have you in my heart. And whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, we talked yesterday how he is in chains right now. He's in prison. Um, All of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer. This is this is the Apostle Paul's prayer for the Church of Philippi. And this is I'm just going to echo his prayer to my prayer to you. This is my prayer to you, to all of you who listen, who are encouraged, who are inspired by the word of God through our daily doses. And this is my prayer for you, that your love may abound more and more and more in knowledge and depth of insight. How do we get that? We get that through the word of God. So you're doing exactly what you need to do. And that's listening, that's tuning in and getting into the word of God. So, and not just to get knowledge, this is it, so that you may able to you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ Jesus, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise to God. And that is my prayer, is that not only would you gain knowledge and insight through the word, but you but it actually increases your discernment that you would know exactly what to do, that you would be empowered through the Holy Spirit. That is my prayer for you. Not because of your circumstances, not because of the pain and the uncertainties, but because of the power of God inside of you. He who began a good work in you will see it to completion. Let that be an encouragement to you today. And guess what? You can make that be an encouragement to someone else by you sharing that with someone else. I want to encourage you to do that today. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.